Welcome. <laughs> I have, um, I should really get this sorted. One second. Perfect. So the year's 2008. I'm living in this very house, actually, in 2008. I am 17 years old, a Blackberry in hand, as well as bloody iPod, iPod Classic, whatever one of those ones that I had in those days before streaming services were readily available. But one other thing that I did always take with me was a camera. Now, I was more music orientated those days, I will say, but my first ever camera was would have been got around that time, which was the Sony DSC S730. It's now 2022. What's this thing gonna be like in 2022? The camera I'm shooting on right now is Sony. I jumped on the Sony train back in 2020. As I said, I was going through the drawer the other week and I always thought that my first camera was a uh, Nikon. I thought it was like a Coolpix S6000 that I'd gotten years ago. That was until I remembered that I actually was on the Sony train before. Uh, and I had this little point and shoot way back in 2008. I got it as a Christmas present. And I did find this thing in a drawer. It takes AA batteries and luckily enough, the proprietary memory cards that they used back then are still in them. So let's go see if this thing works and we'll come up with a plan then. Memory card goes in here. We've got these rechargeable batteries, so let's see. First time. Not even an issue. Oh, this, the, this is literally the room that we're filming. That This is the corner that we're filming this in right now. There used to be like a velvet wallpaper on the room in here. So it's quite convenient that uh, today is the 26th of June and I'm heading to a Green Day concert last last night, tomorrow night. I'm heading down to Dublin this, morning, this evening and I think I might take this thing with me, use it for the week, use it for the week, use it for a couple of days while I'm down there and see what I can get uh, in 2020 with a camera that was made in 2008. I don't even know if I have cables to take the photos off this thing. One of those circumstances where you're not sure whether going through the drive through was worth it or just going in and queuing was worth it. I don't know. So we've got the camera. It's done for coffee. And uh, we're going to go a little walk through the city with this thing, see what I can get. Um, did discover there is exposure compensation on it. Uh, as well as some other settings that I'm going to mess around with and we'll talk about later. I'm an idiot. I forgot that I don't have a method to read this thing. Cards off. I can get the photos off. But I do have one idea. Yeah, so... Right now you may be wondering, how does a PS3 solve my problem? It's the type of PS3 that I have managed to keep around all these years. What they call an original unit. They went balls to the wall in these ones as well because they included this. And what we need is right here. So we'll just have to see. This um, thing is fun to use. Uh, there's no way to select focus points. That's the only thing at the minute. So I've kind of, kind of just head and hope. And it's very easy to change your modes by accident, really. 
And just one further thing to note, the screen on the back is pretty much unusable in direct sunlight, like today. Typically, so far, I can actually find a situation where this camera is better than just using your phone. Got a video mode, which I nah, <laughs> don't know, but it seems none of the modes do much different. Now, there is a macro mode, which allows the focus to be a little bit closer, but from my understanding so far, every single time that I've used the portrait mode or the landscape mode, it's just dumbed the settings straight to the same settings no matter what I'm doing. So um, it is interesting though, trying to line shots up, uh, especially whenever the screen is uh, next to unusable. So, <laughs> I failed at the Green Day concert with the camera. Two reasons. I got to bring my spare batteries because I was lightning down. And number two, I remembered how much I actually like watching shows rather than taking pictures of shows. I'm taking a, taking a more leisurely hike approach. And uh, I'm gonna take the, this uh, Sony out for another spin here for some uh, landscape stuff. See what we can get with our seven megapixels. Enjoy. Yeah, done with the uh, <laughs> done with the little cyber shot for today. Let's get some of the the more better stuff out for now. <laughs> I think it's the best way to do it, and I uh, get some decent shots because I haven't really been taking many um, many landscape shots. But uh, we'll see what we can get. You can check out my Instagram feed or my my website to see what other shots I got today. Um, otherwise, I think we'll just cut back to home and take a look at these uh, these Sony shots that I've taken from Dublin and the two shots I got of Green Day. <laughs> oh, so, how was the Sony? Oh, the hair is in the way. Let's, um, let's go get this sorted first. Okay, that's better. Back to talking about this little thing. Sony DSC S730, where do I lie with it? So, decent point and shoot for 2008. Uh, it was an entry level camera then, so it's not surprising that even now it kind of sucks. Uh, most phones will do a better job. Most phones will have a higher megapixel count. Most phones will do better ISO performance and image processing. Most phones will have a better screen on the back. Yeah, I, I don't know why I would tell anybody to, to use this thing. Bum. It is a 7.2 megapixel camera. Got peak ISO, peak of 1250, and I enjoyed shooting with it. Now I will say the big disadvantage I thought with it was the back screen, um, because I thought the photos looked a lot worse than they actually were. And when I got them on my computer, so when I brought them up on my MacBook, I was like, oh, these aren't that bad actually. These are pretty decent shots. So yeah, like. I could see somebody using something like this. Now, as far as manual controls and stuff on it, there isn't any. Uh, there was some exposure adjustment that you could do. You could bring it down two stops or up two stops. I pretty much set it exclusively to underexposed for two shots because I found that every single landscape that I exposed for, it overexposed it. And then as well as that, um, there's the whole image softness thing. Nice and sharp when it's wide open. But as soon as you use the zoom, it just seems to fall apart. So uh, my advice if you do pick up one of these would be to shoot it as wide as possible most of the time. So if you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more would be the way to do it. And let me know what your first camera was and are you still using it? Are you still using a point and shoot in 2022? Um, because I know I sure as hell 
won't be using this camera much, unlike the GoPro video, uh, which I've still been using the GoPro, this uh, will probably go back uh, to, to being a display piece and I'll take the batteries out and make another video in another 10 years on this thing. Um, but anyway, thanks, have a good one and happy Wednesday. Thank you.